Welcome back. It is Monday, so that means we're checking in with our local CPA, Jeremy Bork. He joins us virtually right now. Jeremy, thanks so much for being here with us. I'm happy to be here. So today we're tackling, like, tackling that TurboTax settlement that kind of we've been learning about in the past week. What do people at home need to know about this? Um, so kind of give a little bit of background on the case itself. It, it, it closed last year and relates to um, tax years 2016, 2017, and 2018, when TurboTax had an ad campaign going on, it was called Free, Free, Free. Yeah. Um, and they were advertising that anyone with, that meets qualifications would have free tax returns um, through the IRS's free file program. But what they did was they blocked the landing page for that free program uh, via Google search engine results, mm -hmm. and were pushing people towards their main page that had a pay feature. Okay. Um, so anyone who paid these fees and they were, they were eligible for the free filing program, they're getting a refund back um, via the settlement of either 30 to $85, depending on how many years that they paid TurboTax. Mm -hmm. And this will be done automatically for you. If you are getting this refund, you should have an email from Rust Consulting, and okay. they are the settlement fund administrators of it. So it's not going to come from TurboTax or into it. It's going to come from this Rust Consulting. Okay, and so you don't need to do anything if you did pay for this. No, definitely not. If anyone calls you for your bank information or emails you for your bank information, do not provide it to them, most importantly. Yeah, well, I kind of makes it easy for everybody because I was like, I don't even know. I don't remember what I did back in 2016 or 2017. So it's kind of nice that they are kind of taking it care um, for, for everybody. And Jeremy, what's your best advice when tax season rolls around and people have that option to do the, the free TurboTax or come visit a local CPA? I mean, it really just depends on what each person has going on. If you have any kind of like gig income or side income where you're getting paid as a self-employed person, I would definitely recommend hiring a CPA. Um, if you're just a W-2 employee, you know, websites like TurboTax or I think it's like USATaxFree.com uh, mm -hmm. or something like that are some good programs to use yeah. um, for that free filing service. And Jeremy, if people at home have any questions, uh, how can they contact you? You can contact, contact us at jeremy at jborkcpa.com or give us a call at 337-362-5005. Jeremy, as always, thank you so much for joining us each Monday with some tax advice for our viewers. Happy to help. All right, if you guys at home, you want to learn more, head to our website, klaf.com. Everything you need is going to be right there. But right now, let's check in with StormTrack 15 Media.